Gorillas have long captured the imagination of human beings, and for good reason they're the largest living primates on the planet. But popular depictions of gorillas are often inaccurate. TV and film portrayals of gorillas suggest that they are aggressive, unintelligent, and frightening. Gorillas are, indeed, very strong, and they can defend themselves aggressively, but they're also highly intelligent and family-oriented creatures. All right, then let's find out more about them. Gorillas are the world's largest primate. They are typically divided into two groups. The mountain gorilla lives in the mountainous regions of Central Africa, while the lowland gorilla lives in the flat, dense forests of Central and Western Africa. Though the two types are very similar, they have a few differences. For example, mountain gorillas tend to have longer hair, whereas lowland gorillas have short, soft hair. Another difference is size. Lowland gorillas are 4 to 6 feet tall and weigh 150 to 400 pounds. Mountain gorillas are about the same height, though they tend to weigh a bit more. They are 4 to 6 feet tall and weigh 300 to 485 pounds. Gorillas can stand on their legs, but they walk using their legs and hands in a four-footed manner, which is an easier way to balance the heavy weight of their head and upper body. They use the hand like a foot and walk on the knuckles. While people have arms equal in length to their legs, gorillas' arms are proportionately different. An average male gorilla is 6 inches shorter than an average man, but its arms are about a foot longer. A gorilla can use its feet to grab. Although its head is larger, a gorilla's brain is smaller than a human's. The bones and muscles of gorillas and humans are similar, but the body shape is different. The gorilla's stomach is much larger than the chest, permitting the gorilla to eat and store bulky, vegetative food. Gorillas are generally herbivores. They usually eat vegetation such as wild celery, shoots, roots, fruit, tree bark and tree pulp, but they have been known to eat small animals and insects. A male can eat up to 18 kilograms of vegetation each day. Gorillas live in groups. Groups of gorillas are called troops or bands. A band of gorillas can have as many as 50 members, though sometimes a band consists of as few as two members. Troops are led by a dominant male, called a silverback, which can often be identified by a gray strip of hair on his back. Both males and females in the group care for their infants, hugging, carrying, and playing with them. When they get older, most males and around 60% of females then leave their birth group to join another troop. This helps prevent inbreeding. They have 16 different types of call. This includes short barks when they're mildly alarmed or curious. To intimidate rivals, male gorillas strut with stiff legs, beat their chests, and use vocalizations like roars or hoots. Each time of day has its purpose for a troop of gorillas. Mornings and evenings are designated as feeding time. In the middle of the day, gorillas take a nap, play with other gorillas, or groom one another. At night, mountain gorilla groups sleep together in nests on the ground or in trees that they make from foliage. Infants will share their mother's nests, staying safe and warm. We share around 98% of our DNA with gorillas. This means that exposure to human illnesses, even a cold can have potentially detrimental impacts on gorillas as they are so genetically similar to us, but they haven't developed the necessary immunities. Like humans, female gorillas are pregnant for nine months and usually give birth to only one infant at a time. Newborn gorillas weigh about two kilograms. From the time they're about four months to two or three years old, young gorillas ride on their mother's backs as a form of transportation. At around seven to ten years, the young gorilla will become mature enough to have its own offspring. At this point, the gorilla will leave its mother's group to find a mate. Gorillas can live around 35 years in the wild and more than 50 years in zoos. In captivity, gorillas have displayed significant intelligence and have even learned simple human sign language. The biggest threat to gorillas is the loss of land due to human development. Gorillas need large areas of dense forest. Lumbering and farming compete for space and war refugees create additional demands on limited resources. Poaching for bush meat or trophies is yet another threat. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already.